let's see the internal working of the application let's select the image let's click on print button client is sending features on the client side get features function calculates the features of the selected image which is stored as a bitmap the get features function calculates the brightness of the image the contrast the number of key points area by parameter and various other features these features are sent to the server this is our server so for that selected image these are the features that are received from the client on the server side these features are fed into the knn filter program which we wrote after filtering out of the 11 candidate models knn filtering selects these four models which are able to classify the image models like mobile net v3 large resnet v2 inception v3 and inception resnet v2 these selected models the list of selected models is sent back to the client so the x server result stores the model list which is sent from server to the client after we get the selected models list from the edge server we run our linear ucb algorithm with context information and selected model list as arguments context information like battery level cpu temperature and ambient brightness is calculated so as you can see here the context information uh, the temperature is 23 degrees celsius battery is 100 percent so battery level is one and the ambient brightness is 600 units linear ucb linear ucb algorithm takes these context information and selected models list as arguments and calculated the qe with considering both the exploitation and exploration factor and returns the model name which has the maximum predicted qe so, After getting the model name, we have maintained a cache, the LRE cache on the Android device. If that model does not exist, then we are downloading that model from the edge server and then running our inference. Else, um, the model is already present in the cache and we don't have to download it. Let's resume our execution. The linear UCB algorithm selects ResNet V2, the final model. This model is getting downloaded and inference is uh, running. So it has predicted this tray of suites as tray. After we ran our inference and display our results on the mobile app, Upgrade UCB with reward function is called. Reward is calculated based on the context information. Update UCB with reward function updates our A and B parameters with the reward, which is calculated based on the context vector and, and the context information like ambient line, CPU temperature, and battery level, and the service accuracy and the service delay of the selected model. It is separated as the weighted sum of service accuracy and service delay. A and B variables are updated with this reward, which in turn 
updates at theta variable, the online admin parameters for the next round. 